What started with a rake and a broom in the summer of 1988 is now a community organization that's been fighting blight throughout the city of Detroit for years. CBS News Detroit's Lauren Winfrey sat down with the group's executive director, taking a look at how far they've come as they plan now toward a promising future. Lightbusters has so much history on the city's northwest side. It was birthed out of necessity nearly 35 years ago, and it was the driving force behind initiatives like Angels Night, something most of us Detroiters are very familiar with. But the group's work has grown over the years because of everyday people committing to an extraordinary cause. And it's been such a pleasure to learn more of their story and share some of it with all of you. Check it out. If you would have looked at this corner 30 years ago, pretty much every building was vacant, boarded up, abandoned. Despite the condition of the old Redford neighborhood three decades ago. I had one or two options, leave or fight and try and make a difference. John George never ditched Detroit. But when my uh, son was two and my wife was pregnant with our daughter, Anne, there was an abandoned home behind our house that turned into a crack house. And uh, we didn't want to move, but at the same time, we didn't want our children growing up in and around that negative energy. So when John's complaint calls to the city and police went unanswered. If we don't do it, it ain't gonna get done. He and two neighbors took matters into their own hands. So we got together on a Saturday morning and we boarded up the abandoned house and we cut the grass and swept up the glass and basically got a problem house under control. Thus Blightbusters, a neighborhood-based nonprofit housing corporation was born. Our goal is to save the world starting with Detroit. Demolishing thousands of blighted properties throughout the years while helping hundreds of people become homeowners. John George is the executive director. We had our children to protect, we had our, our wives to protect, our property values for that matter. Something John's still passionate about today, but his why expands far beyond the four walls of his home. Oh, I love this city. I love the people of this city. Um, I want to be an example uh, for my children and grandchildren <clears throat> that, in fact, it's important to care and uh, do your level best to make it <clears throat> just a little bit better for everyone. To achieve this, Blightbusters recently broke ground on a new development. At the end of the day, we will have 48 units of affordable housing. While shouldering another heavy lift. We will have a new community center. Uh, we will have facade improvement in the business district. We'll have a new arts alley. And this community will have a new energy. A new energy for a new era in Detroit. That proves with passion and persistence, people can evoke change. It's kind of like polishing a dime, uh, rock until you get a diamond. You know, Detroit is really a diamond in the rough. And if we can just get rid of what we don't want, don't need, can't use, and polish up the rest, it's going to be a shining example of, of what folks can do when they put their petty differences aside and focus on things that create community. Reporting in Detroit, Lauren Winfrey, CBS News, Detroit.